be very careful. That didn't sound good. No. Now the funny thing is, you're right, it is funny. Everything just falls apart as soon as you touch it. What did you do, man? I didn't do anything. If you're gonna buy this and build it, just stop right here, because this is as far as you want to go. Yeah. This one's already Tickle you know, tanky. Her mode. Any time you're on the other I don't know, I'm sorry. It's frustration. Th that makes me nervous. Aha! Yeah. Start it up, here we go. You want to start it up? Or you want me to start it up? All right, you guys, welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and of course, we're back with... Sean. AKA the silver spleen. Because of? Th this thing. This uh, nasty looking thing. Actually, you know, from the monitor there, it actually looks really good. Like, yeah. display for this thing is pretty insane looking. This is, looks like, I don't know, man. Wait, overly sized. Careful, careful. Look at that. Careful. All right. It's the most delicate looking tank I've ever seen. Yeah, one thing about this tank, well, you know, first of all, let's just say what it is. This is Zingbao's T92 tank. XB06001. Yes. 1,832 pieces. This doesn't exist in real life. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's true too. Because this is the worst piece of sh thing I've ever built. Yeah. Who asked <coughs> me to do this? One of you guys asked me to do this build. Yes. And this is the most frustrating thing I've ever built. But I have to mention, when it's all put together like, as is, like you see it like that. Yeah. It actually does look kind of stunning. Look at that. It, it is. Well, it's it's the. It's the barrel. The size of that thing. Yes. Um, <clears throat> the Soviets were big believers in size matters. And the reason I say Soviets is because while this thing didn't ever really apparently exist, certainly not as the T-92, there is writing on the barrel that says for the Soviet Union, or basically for Soviet. I'm sure it sounds different in Russian, but I don't speak Russian. The old joke about Soviet equipment was that the rust would hold it together. And since this is plastic, nothing is holding this together. And it, it, it like I said, it, it's a big, impressive thing, but just looking at it, none of the lines are straight. It's just, it looks like it wants to fall apart. That's the saddest part about this build. First of all, it doesn't really roll. No. It will if you take the tracks off, like the wheels kind of move, but yeah. uh, unless I suck at building, I'm frustrated just looking at this thing. So I haven't let Sean touch it yet because once you touch this thing, it's gonna fall apart. Yeah, you but, can see the way that the, uh, carefully, you know? Yeah. If, if it was like me, if it was like you, it would be bigger. It'd be, what, it'd be like that? Yeah. This is, it, if we're gonna look at it from a vaguely realistic standpoint, this would be considered, I imagine, either a self-propelled gun or a self-propelled howitzer, which is basically like an artillery piece that can, doesn't have to get dragged behind a truck. I was talking about like size <clears throat> matters. Oh yeah, you know, well yeah, that too. I'm not sure in real life that you would actually have something that extensive, but I don't know, maybe you would. Uh, would increase your accuracy. Yeah, look at look. this, it just wants to fall apart. It doesn't look very Soviet because there's too many tiny, delicate parts. I mean, the beautiful thing about the Soviet Union was, you know, you look at the T-34 tank or the, the PPSH-41, they were very simple, rugged designs, and this is neither simple nor rugged. A lot of things wrong as far as build goes. Yeah. The railings, are like, fall off super easily. They're not really in all the way. You can probably have to cut those little plastic pieces to slot them in there. Those will tip over. Okay, I gotta admit, like, putting the first part together was okay, but everything kind of puts together, like, from bottom up. So things tend to just fall out. And the worst part is, you know what, Sean? I'm gonna actually just let you <coughs> pretend you've never touched this toy before. I'm just gonna let him touch it. All right. Pick it up. Feel what you feel. I don't, I don't you know. know. If it falls apart on you, let's see what's gonna. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Don't break it, man. Uh, I'm trying because I'm I'm a little OCD. I, I want to fix these tracks. Yeah. Okay. The tracks actually don't fit on the wheels properly. Unless I didn't push the wheels in all the way. Maybe you guys are master builders compared it's, to it's me. It's the same. Who else has this damn it's thing? It's the same on both sides. It, I'm saying that with frustration because I don't even know what parts are missing. Right, look at this. Look, this is not. I mean, okay, you can say, oh, such detail because it moves, but that's not. Why would you do that? Hey. For some reason, the Soviets were fond, especially yeah. on parade days. They would paint some of the upper ridges and stuff white. You can see it in, in old pictures of, yeah, okay, so it's included. They do include it so that you can make it like on the cover, but it just, first of all, it's kind of chintzy looking. Yeah, I'm not gonna put a sticker on this thing. Right. You know. But it, it, yeah, it was just a weird thing they would do for parades. And then afterwards, I guess, you know, Private Orlovsky would have to paint, take the white paint off or so, I don't know. Now what's interesting is some of these sets that I review sometimes are stolen. And I don't know that until I put these videos out. You mean for stolen example, from here? 
No, like stolen from the designer. Look, the designer's name is on here. So the guy's name is Andy. So Andy, if you're seeing this thing, your profile is on this book. Yeah. Andy, nationality USA. He started playing with toy bricks in the 80s. He was infatuated with tracked military vehicles. That childhood pastime turned into a fulfilling hobby that has continued into adulthood. His models have been featured on many popular blogs, including Brothers Brick, the Lego Car Blog, Brick Nerd, and the Brick Bucket Dot Blog Spot. The SA4 Ganef and Condensator were featured in the book, The Art of Scale Lego Modeling. He had been featured in the Builder series Beyond the Brick. I still gotta admit, like, the look of this thing, look, Sean's tearing it apart already. Put it on your shelf. Get Don't up high. Ever touch this <clears throat> thing. It's pretty okay. It's pretty cool looking. As far as playability, enjoyment, zero. This is this thing's not even supposed to be in this direction. It's supposed to be like turned this way. Oh. But look, this thing just fell off. Look, ah. Back. Well, yeah, this fell. That. Ah. No. Nope. Sean just dropped everything there. That's dropping off. It's really weird about the way the things are put together on this. Let's just break it down apart so we can see and you guys can see all the detail. We're gonna take it off one by one so I can show you guys. All right. No. Oops. Uh, so the cannon here is loose. Loose push, cannon? Loose cannon. I didn't push it in all the way because it would get really super tight, so I kind of <laughs> left it. Why are you laughing, man? I'm Look at this thing. I don't even know where this one just fell off from. See the sound of my frustration? Here's oh, the cannon. Oh, thank you. It is crazy, like, the amount of, like, little details that you see in there. They're, right. These are all printing like, on the actual tile itself. They're not yes. stickers. Right. And they actually look pretty good. It looks cool. Like I said, it looks okay. It's just the way it was put together. It's. It doesn't feel that bad, this, this particular part. Yeah. And the thing that just came <laughs> off, like, that came off. These came off. Look at that. All the rails are popping off. Oh, my goodness. So the rails not, are not really secured in there, so you have to put those in nicely. I oh, know, you have this hook looking thing. I'm this not sure. Oh, I think it could be for securing this or something, securing it for transport. In what is theory, that for? I think that should be like the because for something like this, you can't leave it. You can't leave it up there. It'll it'll bend. Yeah, it's a barrel support. You, hey, you want to see the bumper? The bumper ah, right there. Well, okay, fine. Um, that comes yeah. off really easy. There's two pieces in here. Like you saw this piece right here. This is completely loose. It just falls out. Oh, okay. That this explains one it. Too. Here. Oh, okay. Here. This comes off in one section like that. You know, if you try to push it on the body, the whole thing will try to collapse. You can't push down too hard. Right. You can't push down too light or it'll just fall off. I don't even know what that is. Probably your fire control, you know. Yeah. Ah, oh. Now Unless you guys this. can modify this and make it right. your own. And but, you, you know, yeah. just so you know, it's not really secure here. So it's, this is what I didn't like. It's all on the edge there. Yeah. These two pieces. This is the worst okay. part because you can't flush it down here or else it'll just like... It'll smush really, this. Yeah, right. that's right. But as far as this goes... Oh, this I mean, seems fairly solid. Yeah, it's, the wheels can pop off. Fit this pop off down. vodka. Yeah, the wheels are already like falling off. We can actually take off the track. Let's take off this track. Oh. There you go. Ooh! Look at that. I don't know why I'm doing this. So each wheel does move, but some of them are kind of stuck. Oh, that's lovely. But there you go. And it has like these two compartments here that you can't open up, but it just like comes off so easy. It's not really secure in there. See? Yeah. See what I mean? But the, okay. This is okay. Wow. But see what I mean is when you're building this, everything slides from the bottom up. So all the wheels are like slotted in this way. So right. there's nothing so really we, locking it down. So right. everything kind of just like pop off really easy. <coughs> this should be okay. Uh, tough as a tank. <laughs> well, look at all that. Within seconds, yeah. we have all this. <laughs> we have field stripped the tank. <laughs> but you can, yeah. you know, you can walk us through. Each section here, talk about this thing. How it looks like a brick wall. How beautiful does that look? Actually, yeah, that's that's another odd sort of design choice. Uh, it's like a brick texture. It doesn't make sense because I don't know why it would be that way. There's another rope AC. Just what, another, what is yeah. that? I have no idea. And if you're out there, is this real? Maybe Are it's, you real? Maybe it's a plethora of drawers and compartments in which they would keep small, you know, tchotchkes and things of that nature. I don't know. So why does it have a football helmet on the back? Is that a, I don't know, if, is that a football helmet? Sure, ah, sure I broke like one. Does this go on the guy's helmet, maybe? It doesn't seem very realistic because you, uh, everything falls apart. The track is kind of tricky to put on the wheels because it goes over this part here in the front. And that part is where you put the other piece on top. So it kind of like, I don't know. Gets in the way? Gets in the way. Eesh. 
The bump apart design on the front is actually okay. It has two shovels there. Is that normal to put shovels on the front? Yes. Side? Yeah, actually, yeah. You put them because that way you always know where they are and it doesn't take up room inside and they won't rattle around inside, whack you in the leg, things of that nature. That doesn't really open and close. It's just for looks. Where did this piece come from? I have no idea. I just, okay. I would, I looked at it wrong and it fell off. Oh, that goes inside here. I didn't like how this was built because you had to build everything sideways and it sticks in and it can pop off really easy. Oh. This side, there are a lot of little tools. It does come with a, a lot of accessories. Where did that come from? Oh yeah, this thing right here, this is really weird. It's like designed like a slope, but that means it doesn't fit. So it's gonna pop off really easy. Right. I think there's actually a, two versions of this model. I don't know why. This should be the latest one, but the old one, this one used to actually open up and you can put something inside, like a figure inside. I don't know why they closed it off here. <laughs> Maybe it's a design feature where you don't get to build it once, you get to build it every day. Where the hell did this come from? Where did this one come from? I don't know. Oh, 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 look, this whole thing just... <laughs> ah! Catastrophic failure. Go! Oh! Wow. Now it looks like a tracked recovery vehicle. For every one piece you put on, two more fall off. Three things just fell off, man. There you go. The whole thing already came off, man. It's making it worse instead of better. I don't understand. I can imagine if somebody saw this and it looks real, like you said, it looks really nice. But then when you get it, like trying to put it together and then keep it together is an absolute nightmare. The way this thing is built, it's almost like you should glue it together. That's what I was just gonna say. Oh. Lots of glue, man. Yeah, because the, none of it holds itself together and, and it's all like interconnected failure, see? I'm sweating trying to put this thing back together. Okay. Because that's on the slope. That's why it's a stupid, right. stupid design. Stop. The good thing about this, it looks sweet. <laughs> yeah. When it's all put together. When it's like that. And never ever touch it for the rest right. of your life. Now, from, from the picture, and I'm not going to do anything, but like you said, because the, the thing's right in the center where you seat the, the actual barrel, you didn't push that all the way in, right? Yeah, I didn't this, push it all the way this in. This should sit lower. I can try to get it in. Don't, don't, don't. So there's one way I can do it. Here, let's see if I can just... Oh, this is not gonna end well. Uh, yeah, see, it is, yeah. Don't do it, oh, catastrophic failure is imminent. <laughs> I'm using force. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I don't know if I can ever take this thing back off again. Uh, well, maybe this is, it's like the never ending build. All right, there, see, that looks a little bit more, yeah. All right, all right, all right, stop. The track, man, it's bothering me too. Oh. Just let it go. Okay. All right. Just oh, this, this don't rubber, look at it wrong. What? This rubber piece here yeah. was a pain in the ass to put on for me. I'm I don't know how you guys got it on. Some of you guys, I think, were able to do it, but right. this thing was took so much force to get this thing on. I really don't know what half these things do. Andy, if you're seeing this video and you designed it, please comment yeah, and let please. us know what you think. Yeah, explain this to and us. And if it's really your final design or not, or if it's stolen. I, I have no idea where pieces go on this thing. You can probably make up your own. Redesign it yourself. Yeah. Couple things that are good about Jingbo. I'm pretty sure they included all these. Right. I could be mistaken. This might not be, this might be a combination from other sets, but I'm pretty sure what happens is they'll use like one item and they have to like give you the whole entire set. So like this one used something and then the, each guy has like a weapon. Right. And there's uh, a lot though. There's eight of like the one with the machete in it. They probably felt so bad. They went, you know what? This model's gonna suck to build. Here yeah. you go, take yeah, all these just weapons. Take these. Uh, I don't know why, this this fascinates me and I enjoy it because you almost feel like like it would be a piece, like, like oh look, it's the antenna top or something. I, but it, it rolls, actually I think, th the entertainment and playability value of this is actually greater than this. So there it is, yay. If someone came by your home and saw this sitting on the shelf, they'll wanna touch it. You're gonna have to get your whip out because you'd be like, don't touch this thing. Yeah. I forgot to push this thing back. And of course, it comes with four minifigures. Yes. Now, this is the reason why I know this is like the newer, latest version of the tank, is because the minifigures are new too. So they have the movable arms. We'll take a look at those right now. Sean, you do the honors. We'll see from the last video who commented, and we're gonna name them from the comments. Okay, first one up is. All right. This guy. He looks like the Winter Soldier from uh, the. Marvel series. Yeah they, the they, movie. yeah, they have an odd sort of winter camouflage because I guess it gets cold in Russia. But at the same time, he's not wearing a hat and he has beautiful, lustrous black hair. This is, it looks like Private Rambowski. But his name is. His name is Tio 
Shiji, 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 said, yeah, I don't know if I said that wrong, but Tio, that's you. Yes. Looking beautiful in the winter. Yes. Going into war. And, and these have uh, the, the vest and a belt, which, which clip in between. Okay. Okay, we got the next guy who also has luscious. Almost the same thing, yes, lustrous, beautiful. This one is Crazy Pikachu, because he said sexy. So this is Pikachu. Sexy you. Yes. Okay. Okay, now this guy is slightly injured. Uh, there's some blood on his face, but he's very angry and he's shooting at people. He's left-handed, which I don't know if that makes any difference. He has this lovely tanker's helmet with, with, with goggles that... That's great. I love how Sean put the goggles on because they're upside down. Oh, like, I just leave them like that. Yeah. They look cool. Ah. So that is Mark 54. And there you go, Mark. And get that thing on your face looked at because it looks painful. All right. And speaking of which, this guy, this guy has been, I, I guess he's been eating chocolate. I, I think it's a handkerchief, man. What is it? It's a handkerchief, it's a handkerchief covering his mouth. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, chocolate, hey, and, why not? And he's got like some very sort of Bruce Lee scratches on his face. Chocolate red. sounds good to me. Also, yeah, well, yeah, all things considered. And also the lustrous black hair. One is Johnny's World. So Johnny actually has a pretty cool channel. Yeah. He reviews other brand sets, although it's in German. And he's putting out a lot of content, uh, like his stuff. Very cool, Johnny, there you are. Yes. Ready to eat some chocolate. Now, just a fair warning for you guys. The minifigures I don't think are as good as the other set. I don't know why, but sometimes it feels like they're a little bit loose here on their foot when it goes into the stud. Sometimes the hand pops off a little bit too easy. And of course the hair pops off really easy. And it has a slightly different design here. It's like a hexagon on the top of the head. See how easy that fell off? So, you know, you're not getting the set for the minifigures for sure, even though they are kind of cool. I mean, the printings are okay, but yeah, just be careful for these guys. You might have to really shove in their pieces pretty hard to get them to fit properly. Of course, it's dimension time. That doesn't really make sense to do this tank with the dimensions, but just so you know, it is over a 32 by 32 base plate. I'm gonna this up here to show you guys exactly what I mean. There, it's over, it's probably like three studs over in the 32 by 32 base plate. And for the width, it's kind of hard to tell. I think it's around 16 studs by width. So there you go. Let's look at the height. Here's my height stick, the one by four bricks. So if you have 13 bricks, you can kind of see the height for yourself or gauge it if you're gonna measure it before you buy it. It will just touch here. It'll probably vary depending on how hard you push down on this piece. And of course, at the tip, it'll be slightly higher as you go up. It's around 17 bricks in height. You know, you can probably raise it or lower it if you wanted to. But just so you know, there you go. And if you buy this from BrickMeUpScotty.com and you don't get all these accessories, I'll send these to you for free yes. with your T92 tag yes. out of, you know, I don't know, to just help you get through the build because yes. at least you have an extra knife you can cut something with the plastic knife because you're frustrated doing this build. Yes, and that's bound to happen. We can guarantee frustration. So anyway, there you go. This is Zingbao's T92 imaginary tank. Mm. It looks beautiful. Yes. It is possibly my worst build I've ever done just because it shouldn't be this bad. And I know they have other tanks too, but you want us to review them with Sean, shall we? Maybe I should send Sean a set to build for me and come back and see how you do in the build. I don't know about this. Uh, but anyway, there you guys go. So thank you so much for watching and thank you Sean for being a guest again. Well, thank you for inviting me. I had fun, believe it or not. This, this, it, it is a very interesting build. Until next time, brick him up, Scotty. Boof. That I told you I think of the bitch, man. That thing's a piece of shit. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, that, you even finished the top of this thing? It looks like it's incomplete on the top. It is a very interesting build, um, and because you keep building it and rebuilding it and rebuilding it, so. Now we're gonna put all the soldiers on the tank. You know, you always have to have one guy, like, here, here, on the cannon here. here. Exactly. Oh. Uh. Yeah, one thing about this tank, well, you know, first of all, let's just say what it is, so. And we're still trying to figure that out. I know, right? You know, I'd like to interview the guy that actually made this stuff, because I don't know what's going through their mind. And apparently some of these have, have been stolen, so this might actually be a stolen design, who knows? Well, it kind of should be. <laughs>